What's up, YouTube? Hood Trucker. Uh, normally, I, uh, I would like to drop videos on a weekly basis, but um, for some reason, something, I, I do it on my phone. Something, something's doing, going on on my phone. The mic cuts in and out. Uh, I think I'm just going to get a GoPro or something and just start to do it more regularly. But I uh, just wanted to drop a video um, just to update, kind of update everything. Um, show my appreciation for the fact that my disgusting, uh, cuss-laden video <laughs> uh, is, is blowing up. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, it, was a, it was a horrible experience. Um, as I said in the video, I was totally unprepared. I don't normally get stuff like that. I've never seen anybody have any like that. So um, I had no idea, uh, you know, what was going to happen at all. So that's why I was saying throughout, throughout the whole video that um, I was totally unprepared. And when I say totally unprepared, I mean totally unprepared. So, uh, you know, I was getting comments that were saying, oh, you're an idiot, you're this, you're that. You know, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, kind of like a shoot from the hip type of guy. And I mean, I've never encountered anything like that. So, yeah, um, I, you know, I try to, I try to uh, you know, prepare for things, but sometimes you just get caught unprepared. Um, I had a couple of comments that asked me why my pants was down. Um, that's because my belly was tight. <laughs> and when I'm in the truck, I'm sitting down a lot, so I loosen my pants. Uh, it just so happens that, uh, you know, I, I mean, that was a spur of the moment. I mean, I woke up and um, saw the you know the little pimple head thing on the, on my elbow, and I said, well, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well um, put it on video, and maybe somebody that sees this and have the same thing, maybe you know it'll show them that hey, maybe you might want to be more prepared. Um, the other thing um, that was happening was they were saying I was I, I cussed too much. Well. I mean, I, 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 again, I was totally unprepared. I wasn't prepared for it to blow up like that. And it's been blowing up lately. Uh, I got, like, at, the, at this point, I mean, I'm, I'm approaching 200,000 200, views. I had no idea. Um, you know, I could have cur curtailed my, um, you know, my, my, my cussing and all that. But, you know, I, I, I I mean, I've gotten some of the most weirdest, um, truly, uh, like, ridiculous comments. And I'm not one to, like, bite my tongue, which is why I was cussing the whole time. So I'm, I'm firing back, snapping back, and uh, clapping back. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, uh, that video was shot a year ago. And, you know, people, when they watch the video, um, they comment as if I just did it yesterday. Well, here's the update, dude. My elbow is fine. See that? That might be a bump right there, but I mean, come on. So, my elbow is fine. What, what ended up happening was, uh, when I got back, they, uh, you know, here's what I did. When I was on the road, it's like, yeah, I can stop everything, but um, I actually just started with a new company, and, you know, it is what it is. Like, you know, I mean, I could shut the whole place down and stop everything and, and back everything up, but that's not, that's not, like, the show must go on, you know, and that's my, that's pretty much my motto. So whatever I run into, it's just, it's just it is what it is. So, um, in that particular uh, instance, I mean, if, if I can make it happen, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. So that's what happened. You know, I, 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 I uh, was caught in a situation, 
and I dealt with it. So what I what I did was is I researched a bunch of stuff um, after that, and uh, what I found was like garlic was as close to an antibiotic as you can get naturally. So uh, I ate tons of garlic. It was nasty. It, uh, it tasted like fire when you start chewing on it. So I had to figure out that. So I just ate you know some chocolate to kind of. Um, you know, kind of like dampen down the, the spicy flavor of it or whatever. But, you know, it, I'm assuming it helped because when I got to the, when I got back to my doctor uh, after the trip, was, which was probably about a week later or so, uh, maybe a little bit less, I go into the doctor and they say, well, actually it was a clinic, because uh, the doctor was, was unavailable. And plus, I was ready to cuss his ass out anyway. Um, so I go, to, I go to this clinic um, that they sent me to, and they said, we're not even gonna touch that, we're sending you straight to the hospital. So I went to the hospital, and the doctor was cool, and they even signed me up for like an experiment or something, because uh, I guess they're working on some type of new way that they deal with that kind of stuff. Um, and they were gonna leave like some type of cotton thing in there if I was uh, selected for the study. So what happened was they, they asked me if I would would consider doing the study, but even after they, that I would accept doing the study, that they would have to, ex, uh, ch uh, they'd have to choose me or they'd have to select me or something. Because it was a, a blind type of thing and you, you agree to it, but it, it doesn't mean that you'll actually do it. So whatever happened was they, uh, they didn't select me, but they, you know, they, they monitored me. So, because they were trying to see if, the, if which way was better, to leave it alone, leave the stuff out, Put the stuff in. So when they lanced it, that, that's what I was talking about. They, when they lance it, they, they they leave some type of some type of material in there to kind of like soak it up or something. I don't know. But I, since I wasn't a part of the study, they just did it not like they normally do, and they uh, went ahead and just lanced it and just took some, put some stuff in there and scraped some stuff out of there, and uh, and that was it. Um, and then. But as I was talking to the doctor, I was like, well, why could you, uh, you know, why would they misdiagnose it and that, that kind of thing? Well, he said, I didn't see it in the beginning. It could have looked like a hematoma. He should have probably done more research on it or something. But yeah, he misdiagnosed it. He screwed that up completely. And I said, he, and, and he was like, and he, said, well, and he asked me what happened. I was like, well, what was happening was I was taking his uh, diagnosis. Um, you know, and running with that. So I was like, well, he said it would absorb and, and it was actually getting worse. And everybody was telling me like, this dude, this is not, this is not, uh, this is, this is, this doesn't look right. And I was like, well, dude, you're not doc, you're not a doctor. So I kind of was hard headed on that. So that's how it ended up being a month later after I got the diagnosis, because I was still listening to what the doctor had said and not listening to what everybody else said. So um, that being said, um, I kind of learned a lesson <laughs> uh, just because you know someone is in the position doesn't mean they're any good so uh, he, he totally screwed that up I screwed it up too and it just it was like a perfect storm almost so um, when I uh, when I again when I was talking to the doctor you know he told me he screwed up but he also said you did most of our work for him um, I said well yeah, it was basically out of necessity because I, I seen a pimple head on it and I busted it. So they said, yeah, you did a pretty good job. Um, there's not a whole lot left in here. Um, and you did, you know, you basically did most of our job. So I said, cool. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, they, they let me go and they gave me some meds, some, uh, some uh, antibiotics. And that was that. I never had any, it went down. It, it never had any issues after that. Um, so, like, I, you know, again, I never knew that that video was gonna blow up like it did, like it's blowing up, and again, it's, I'm approaching 200 as, as of this taping right now. Uh, I'm, I'm approaching 200,000 views, so I never expected that. But, you know, if it's, if it's entertaining, if it's, if, it's, if it's comical, if it's educational, I mean, that's what YouTube creators are here for. We're trying to, you know, trying to enlighten everyone and to entertain everyone. And, and, uh, and, and, you know, and just
just make a contribution to that. So, um, that being said, that's the update. Um, you're probably wondering where I am now. And if not, I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> um, part of driving a truck, um, it, it, it's, 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 it's dealing with the stress. Um, I don't really notice the stress anymore because I've been doing it so long. But, I mean, you know, you got drivers, you got this, you got weather, you got all kinds of different things. You got uh, scale houses and you got, I mean, just, there's a ton of stuff. But after a while, I mean, it's like anything. Something that was stressful in the beginning um, doesn't necessarily have to be stressful in the end or, you know, after a while. So, like, I don't really notice the stress until I notice the stress. So, like, um, this particular company that I'm, that I'm, that I'm uh, working for, they, they, they have it to where I can do a reset before I deliver. And um, one of the things that I take advantage of is that is, is, is enjoying myself because I'm on the road a lot. You know, I'm, I'm probably only home you know, four to six days a month. So I take advantage of that time and enjoy myself. As you can see, I'm sitting in a jacuzzi. Uh, this is a very nice uh, location. There's a golf course here. Um, this is where I'm doing my reset. So uh, I, I try to, uh, you know, I try to, you know, I make, I make decent money. And, you know, sometimes peace of mind and relaxation is worth whatever you have to pay, you know, um, to be able to kind of uh, take yourself away from, you know, the, the everyday grind. Because, like, you know, tonight, uh, I got to take off, like, 11 o'clock Eastern time. I deliver at 1 in the morning. So I'm just enjoying myself. I'm going to eat good today. Had a few drinks last night. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and uh, enjoy the jacuzzi for a while. They got a pool over there. I'm gonna as soon as I get out of here, I'm jumping in the pool. I'm going to be like a 12-year-old kid, just having fun for the next couple hours. I'm going to go in. I'm going to uh, watch my Vikings beat the 49ers, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, and, you know, just enjoy myself. And just, you know, just, just uh, you know, get away, get out of the truck. You know, um, I just leave that behind for if it's only for 34 hours or whatever it is. So, you know, whether I do this every week or not, I mean, you know, I mean, you gotta take time out. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, uh, enjoy yourself. And that's with anything. I mean, trucking is bad enough, but you know, any any job, like any job nowadays, can be stressful. Where these people be acting. You know, especially uh, seeing like just based on the comments that I've received, like people are miserable, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, they're taking it personal. Like, you're a fucking, you're a fucking idiot. You're this, you're that. Call me all kind of names. Just because I didn't, you know, just because I didn't have enough towels or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, dude, why are you so upset? Like, be grossed out, but like, why are you so upset? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So, you know, it's not like I'm, I wasn't speaking politics, I wasn't speaking nothing about the flag, I wouldn't do, I mean, it, I mean those are, those are uh, controversial issues. I'm draining pus out of my elbow and you're calling me, like, every name under the sun, like, collectively. So, you know, a lot of people, and I appreciate those people, but, like, people are miserable, like, like truly miserable, like, like you're unintelligent, you're, I mean, call me everything under the sun, I couldn't understand, I couldn't understand, like, dude, why are you so upset? So, I mean, of course, I'll clap back, but, like, why does this make you, why is it so upsetting to you? I mean, it's something I did to me, I just happened to, you know, invite you in and let you see it, you know, like, it's gross, it's not like a political statement, it's not none of that, but, like, I'm an idiot, I'm this, I'm that, you know, yeah. Um, if you say I was an idiot, I mean, I, that probably could, um, I mean, I could probably mis be misconstrued as an idiot, but I mean, was it, I 
mean, who's to say? Like, if you look at my circumstances, should I have listened to everybody else that wasn't a doctor? I mean, you could say that. You know, I was listening to the doctor. He didn't give me a time frame as to when it would reabsorb and whether or not it would get worse first. I didn't know any of that. So, again, but the, the you know the vitriol that that, that that I that I was on the you know receiving end of. I mean that. I mean, yeah. Hey, hey, dude. Uh, maybe you should think twice next time. Or, dude, you're a fucking idiot. But I love the video. Any, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I mean, these are like hateful type. You know, obvious from his. Uh, one, one was obviously from his vocabulary. He doesn't have health insurance. <laughs> like I don't know what part of uh, you know taking a do I have to take an IQ test or something to get the health insurance. I don't. Know. But you know, people just were sort of just ridiculous. But those are miserable people. So my point in saying all that is like, you know, you gotta take time out and enjoy yourself. If you got a horrible job, take a couple of days off or something. I know it's like bills and all of that, but you know, at least like at least like what I do sometimes, like I know if I go get you know, entering into a ridiculous situation, you know, I mentally prepare myself. Like, like if I go into a ship where I know they're assholes or because I've experienced them before or whatever the case, I mentally prepare myself to not react because I'm already prepared. Like, I'm, you, you're not, like, catching me off guard. Like, I'm already prepared to accept the bullshit because I know that if I engage with them, then it's only going to make it worse. You know, they're going to put me at the back of the line and any number of things. So... So I just wanted to, you know, uh, just you know, shoot an update. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm I'm still on my Amazon thing. Now I, did, I had it. I'm doing. A, I was doing a daily Amazon. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, journey to Amazon daily thing, whatever. But here's the thing. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Um, and Amazon is awesome, even though I haven't done it yet. The potential is awesome. You could fail. I could totally mess it up. But you don't know until you know. But what happened was is that, you know, I'm trying to uh, do the Amazon venture with something to fall back on. Which is my credit card. I have about I have about ten grand in, in overall uh, credit availability, but I, ha I have a, uh, an issue <laughs> with spending, and uh, I, I've been messing up. But I, it's, it's like it's like uh, you know you got to catch yourself, and I've been trying to catch myself, and it's been working. So like in the next probably month, maybe a month and a half, I'll be completely done with catching up on everything I need to catch up on because I don't want any anything um, like it had been before like I've done business ventures and I've been in the hole and trying to dig myself out the hole and do a venture too so um, I'm not doing that so that's what's going on with that I haven't done an update on that yet you know so, so you can kind of like include that into the update the, the Amazon journey <laughs> update so I'll be kicking that off here probably another month so, um, and, and again, the elbow is fine. Um, you know, the, the uh, Amazon is still, it's, it's on the back burner a little bit, but because of my spending, um, it's kind of like on the, on the back burner. Um, I, bought a, I bought a car, it was supposed to be for my niece, but she ended up getting a car. So I'm, it was a Mustang, so now I've gotten, you know, I'm a car guy too, so now I'm kind of gotten enthused about uh, maybe doing something to that, which is kind of like pushing me back. I know it's stupid, <laughs> but I had to, you know, I, I, I'm having to, uh, like, refrain from that or, you know, I don't know. Sometimes spending money is like smoking crack, dude. It's, 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 it's crazy, but anyway, so that's the update. Um, if this turns out to be uh, where my mic's not all screwed up, maybe I'll start, um, doing more updates with the phone um, otherwise I'm like I'm just gonna get a good focus or an, or another uh, iPad or something because this is this, this, this phone is ridiculous I don't know what's going maybe I spilled coffee in it or something I don't know but anyway 
so um, with that, that's all I got uh, for today. That's the update. And the reason why I'm putting videos up because I'm horribly unorganized uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> and all of that. So with that, uh, I'm about to. I've been here 20 minutes already, probably like 30. I'm about to go jump in this uh, jump in this pool. Get some swimming on. Alright, YouTube. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later.